going to sing a song about supermarkets now. <laughs> I've had everything else. Now, we went shopping today. We went over in the ferry. We had a great time. We've been sightseeing today. We went to the bus down to Manly. Got a little opal card that we've discovered you need. <laughs> got on the ferry, went to Circular Quay, walked around the rocks, came back, went to Aldi. Because we like Aldi. And in fact... We have Aldi's at home as well, and, and we have another supermarket which is actually very similar to Aldi called Lidl. Do you know about Lidl? Yeah. yeah. And they were actually started by two brothers in Germany, apparently. <clears throat> you know, and I guess they fell out and decided, I'll show you and I'll start my own supermarket. But anyway, there's two separate supermarkets. And as you know, it's, you know, good, you know, there's lots of nice fruit and veg and stuff. But what is really special is the stuff in the middle aisle, right? <laughs> Never mind all that capsicum rubbish, you know, what you want in the middle of. And I don't know what it's like here. I mean, I, Aldi seemed a little tame to my taste because I, our local little has, like, art welding equipment, you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, never mind kind of cushions and, you know, garden forks and stuff. No, art welding equipment, scuba diving gears, great, you all kinds of stuff. So naturally, on a Thursday, it's like going to... You know, going to the hardware store, all the men are in the middle aisle. Can I look at I, I come home and say, Rosie, I've got this great thing. She says, What is it? I don't know, but it was really cheap. <laughs> uh, so, so here's a song about supermarkets. It's called, it was written by a man called Mickey McConnell um, from Listall in Ireland, and he obviously has the same approach to, sh to grocery shopping as me, because here's the song. <clears throat> Well, the wife, she broke her ankle after tumbling off the bike, leaving me to do the housework, a job I never liked, and doing the weekly shopping seemed an awful chore to me, till I discovered little de aldi, little de aldi, little dee dee. That's your bit. Right? <laughs> now I just can't wait for Thursdays when the specials go on view. I'm the first man to the trolley, I'm the first man in the queue. And now I know what people mean by retail therapy. Thanks to Aldi, little the Aldi, little the Aldi, little dee dee. For there's angle grinders and black puddings and a pot of German jam, a lump of hairy bacon and a wetsuit from Japan, a pack of streaky rashers and a crate of Russian stout and a portable generator just in case the lights go out. There's alloy wheels and windscreen wipers and a bag of rooster spuds. An inflatable rubber dinghy to help survive the floods. Spanners, sausages, fish fingers. They're so cheap, they're damn near free. At little de aldi, little de aldi, little de aldi, little de dee. <laughs> now there's welding rods and fine organic beef to make a hearty stew. A walking pole and spiky boots for climbing Kathmandu. A head of curly cabbage to make you eat your fill. Sledgehammers and bananas and a lovely cordless drill. And there's hatchets and hamburgers. And there's tins of beans and peas. A petrol-driven chainsaw for cutting bits off trees. <laughs> Saver saws and sausages. Computers and TVs. At little de aldi, little de aldi, little de aldi, little de dee. Now the wife. She's gone ballistic, marriage heading for the rocks. With her crutches and her shopping bag, she's hobbling round the shops. And she's cut off all me credit cards. I'm sad as sad can be, thanks to Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de dee. For the house is full of plastic shite I really didn't want. And the garden's full of furniture and the shed is full of plants. And I'm living in the doghouse, Rover, Fido, Shep and me. Thanks to Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de dee. So, no more angle grinders, no black puddings, no more pots of German jam, no lumps of hairy bacon, no more wetsuits from Japan, no packs of streaky rashers, and I'll have to do without a portable generator just in case the lights go out, no alloy wheels, no windscreen wipers, no more bags of rooster spuds, no inflatable rubber dinghies to help survive the floods, for I'm living in the doghouse, and I'm sad as sad can be. Thanks to Aldi, little d Aldi, little d Aldi, little d dee.